Today we're going to go ahead and look at the wiper door actuator. I'll go ahead and pull it off, look at it, and see if it needs repair after testing. Now the wiper door actuator is actually located right here in which we'll have to pull these two nuts off and loosen this nut here and back the actuator off. We'll also have to re we'll also need to remove the red vacuum line and the green vacuum line on the back side. Once we do that, uh, we can test it. You can actually test it while it's on the car simply by removing the red line. Put a vacuum on it if it holds. This side is good. The same with the green line on the bottom. Pull the line off, put a vacuum uh, on it. If it holds, then that side is good also. I already know that this back side, the green line, is not holding vacuum. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it off and look at it. There we go. We just simply used a 7 16 in wrench right here on this side for the bolt here. The shaft area here is a different size depending on what model you have. So be careful that you have the right actuator for the right car. Well, I can already tell that this seal right here is bad. I'll go ahead and replace this seal and then I'll check uh, vacuum on this line right here to see if it holds vacuum. This is where the green hose, green striped hose uh, mounts. And on the opposite side is where the red hose mounts. And I'll go ahead and replace this seal also, even though it's already holding. I'm gonna go ahead and replace both of them just in case. There we go, as you can see, I have a good seal on this side here. It's holding uh, vacuum. And we'll give it a try on the other side. This was actually the red side ported. The red hose. And no seal on the grease hose line. Absolutely none. It's not holding a vacuum at all. Which means I'll need to replace this grommet right here. You know what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and pull this one off, this grommet off, and I'm going to wrap this shaft here with some tape so I don't damage the new grommet when I put it on. These threads on this, uh, on this shaft here could actually damage the rubber as I, as I kind of feed it on, and I don't want that to happen. We'll go ahead and do that. You know what else I'm going to probably do? I'll clean this area off right. I'll clean all this area out so that I'm pretty sure I get a good seal. Okay, that's my new grommet. And I will go ahead and just feed it on here. Real lightly. There we go. And then feed it into the hole here. So that I get good seal. There we go. I'll go ahead and take the tape off. That feels like a pretty good seal there. And I'll go ahead and replace the other one on the other side. So that one actually... Okay, with that we'll go ahead and test again. This is where the red port went in. There it goes. We have a good vacuum. Seems to be holding. And now we will check the green port. See the shaft is actually extending out. There we go. We have a good vacuum seal. How about that? The new grommet fixed it. That probably saved us about $100. Now we simply reinstall the same way as we uh, uninstalled it, and then we'll have a good uh, wiper actuator. Now, so what we did is we replaced this uh, seal right here on the actuator shaft, replace this seal on the back side of it. 
We tested both sides, the red side to ensure we had a vacuum. In turn, tested the green line size to ensure we side to ensure that we had a vacuum. And now we'll simply reinstall and all should work fine. Thank you for watching.